Okay, I guess we can move on to GitLab. This was an assignment for you to watch the video. I'm gonna give the big picture again, a quick summary, and then you can think of questions to ask in the meantime. You usually have three challenges when you want to do semantic segmentation. One is you're gonna end up with reduced feature resolution. And why does this happen? First of all, you don't have enough data. You want to do transfer learning. You are transferring from classification. And for classification, you are reducing the resolution because in the end, you want it to end up with a single vector. So the feature maps that you're gonna rely on are gonna have a reduced resolution. There is another reason for it. You want to have a global or big picture of your image. So even if you had enough data, you probably would have gone this route to summarize your image in a single vector or a couple of vectors, your feature map, a reduced feature map, because it's going to give you the big picture of your image. There is the problem of having objects at multiple different scales. We saw this problem just now. Your objects could be either too big or too small, and then it causes your algorithm to make mistakes. And the other one is you're going to have reduced localization accuracy because your CNNs are respecting some invariances, for instance, being translation invariant or locally stationary. You can fix the first problem by using Atrus convolutions. You're going to have the same number of parameters as, an origin, as your original convolution that you start with. It's going to have the same computation. It's going to give you uh, feature maps that are eight times smaller than your original image rather than 32 times smaller and being an ending of being too coarse. How does it work? You can either introduce holes in your kernels and then take that kernel, multiply it by your image. That's one choice. Equivalently, you can skip every other pixel or every two pixels according to this rate parameter. And this way your feature resolution is gonna end up being bigger. You downscale it less. Rather than 32, you're downscaling it only eight times. Atlas convolution, you can look at your uh, object or your image at multiple different resolutions. Maybe this is the original resolution. You can look at your object or your image, every other pixel, you're reducing the resolution by two. You can reduce the resolution by four, by eight. And as soon as you reduce the resolution, you're actually looking at the global context. These are lower quality images, but you are actually looking at a lower quality image to obtain the big picture or the context. And that's gonna help you deal with the problem of multiple scales. Here, you don't need those bounding boxes anymore. And that's gonna give you a pyramid according to the rate of the Atrus convolution that you're using. For instance, this, this last one is looking at your image every 24 pixels. So it's gonna be able to process your entire image look at your entire image or a big portion of it. The other one, the localization accuracy, you can deal with it using fully connected CRFs. This is a post-processing step. I'm gonna go through the algorithm in the next slide, but what you're gonna do here is exactly the question that you asked me. If you have a pixel here, it shouldn't be classified as a background because it is in the middle of another object. So the likelihood of that happening should go low. But if you are doing per pixel prediction and you are treating your pixels independently, then there is no guarantee because your pixel is not going to look at its neighborhood. CRF is going to help you, for instance, this pixel, to look at its neighborhood or the entire image and then make a decision. So now you are relaxing that independence assumption. It doesn't have to be independent anymore. Some of them are coming out of the independence assumption and your neural network. Your neural network is outputting some probabilities to make a decision for the corresponding class. You're gonna look at the probability and choose the one that has the highest probability as your label. At the same time, you can look at your neighborhood pixels according to some features. For instance, the pixel location matters. If two pixels are close to each other, perhaps they should have the same label or if they have the same color they should have the same label and that's the idea of crf the big picture actual implementation of it is a little bit hard why because it's going to end up being costly 
this point here has to pay attention to every other point on the image, on the entire image to make a decision. And that's going to have order of your pixels squared as the cost. And there are algorithms to do it in order of your pixels cost. And then you can get pretty good results out of deep lift. Any questions about it? Okay.